Cancer. Oh, excuse me. Song I was playing for you is Love Me. It's, it's, it's coming to an end, though. So a time where cancer or whether someone was telling you to love them or a time where someone where you were telling someone to love you is coming to an end or a time where you may just be solely focused on loving you may be coming to an end. So you could be getting into a relationship or you could be getting into a partnership. All right. You put your foot in the shoe that fits you. you that, that don't got to be the case. You don't have to let me know. The song that's playing for you now is Boss Bitch. So yeah, so it may be a time where you, where you're ask when you're done asking someone to love you. My head itches. Or and it's like you put your boss pants on. Now you in your boss bitch status. You feel me? Your feminine energy is on boss on boss note. Fuck. I felt great. Ice cream, I look like a lick, you feel me? Mm, damn, cancer. I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna show it to you, but we're gonna put this back. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Capricorn had this same card in the same position, but I ain't gonna take it. And then look what's on the bottom. You feel me? Hey, it's a cut. I ain't gonna take them though. Capricorn had that same card too. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. You don't have to be though. We're gonna shuffle a little more before we start pulling cards for Cancer. But Cancer's on some sort of boss bitch status. Now you may, now you bossing up may have brought other people or put pe other people external to you or other things you used to involve yourself in in a state of unbalance because you are now focused on your own self, you feel me? You're done asking people to love you, you're done asking people to fuck with you, or you just done giving your love and energy to others. You are now defensive, all right? And you just, you just being a boss bitch on your own, male or female. You may be cold. Cause some may make you happy. The outcome of a situation or the outcome of an investment. The long-term return on the song was terrible. Four wands fell out. I saw it in reverse, but I picked it up upright. So you celebrate in a foundation that's something you're passionate about. You invested your energy or your time into something, and now you are, it's like you're, you're celebrating that feeling or those feelings or that energy you get when you do this or how you feel about this. You feel me? Oh, shit. What else fell out? And that may have... Required you to leave something alone, someone or a space, a mentality, or just a, a way you act and or move. You had to let something go in order to put yourself in the space to celebrate in regards to your passion. You feel me? Because you became aware of something. And you becoming aware of something made you come up with an plan and or ideas on how you could become defensive towards something and heal yourself. You took control of your life with the emperor. What was that? Look, you realizing and or accepting the truth about something puts you in the space to become the emperor and or the king or ruler of your solar system and the things that can or cannot participate in your space. Once you peep something, it's like you became aware of something. And that, let, that, that made you separate from something or leave something out, whether it was a mentality out of your space of positive mentalities, no more negative mentalities or no more poor feelings or lower feelings or lower thoughts, only higher feelings and higher thoughts, feelings worth celebrating, you feel me? Or if, or if it's a person, it's a person, you don't have to plug it in, well, plug in what goes with you. Song of this. Honey shots. So you may have gave, look, I was about to say, you may have gave someone or something a hundred chances. And they couldn't get, they just could not get it right. So he was like, fuck it. You know what? I gotta, I gotta leave you alone. Cause I, I got a life worth celebrating. I got shit worth, you know, I got a passion worth investing in. And me participating here will just continue to hold me back 
or hold me down or suppress me or dim my light in some way, shape or form. So now you look, you got a new perspective about something. And it's like you had no choice in order for you to shine or in order for you to grow or expand, you had to let something go, contract. Gave some a hundred shots. You, I gave this shit a hundred different tries, a hundred chances. You know, every every other day, it's another chance. You feel me? Look, someone's in their head, or something kept you in your head. Someone kept you in your head. Yeah, you're celebrating in your in in regards to your passions, but it's like whether if this is you versus someone outside of you, you celebrating and or expressing yourself regarding your passions. Celebrating how you feel about the things you invest your fire into or you invest your energy into is putting someone in their head because they see how stable you are. They see how emotionally sound or emotionally stable you are without them participating in your space. You feel me? If it's a person, then it's a person. If it's a mentality, then it's a mentality. You feel me? That's if it's you versus someone outside of you. If it's you versus you, then it's like you may still be celebrating and just celebratory in regards to the actions or just the route or the road you're taking towards your passion. But because you had to leave something alone, you may still mentally be in a sense of entrapment in regards to what is ex what you receive or what was said or what was expressed in regards to whatever you had to leave alone, you feel me? It's like you may still you may still think about the road or the actions you had to take to get to your celebration in regards to your passions. But that doesn't mean you not celebrate. Or expressing how you feel. Or just celebrating yourself, you feel me? Oh, look what came out. A different perspective on the devil, you feel me? I'm going to take that. I don't know, I'm going to just put those with, with each other. It's like, you may have been invested in something. Yeah, it's something you love. Bottom of the deck. You were invested in something you loved, but you may have loved something that wasn't good for you. You feel me? With the devil. You fell in the, with, the, with your rose-colored glasses on with the, when it was honeymoon phase in whatever phase, whatever you were involving yourself with in your space. Shit was sweet. It was beautiful. But long-term investment, it was really something toxic. Was, you were really chained to a dream, a false dream, something you wanted to, to become real, right? You, be, you became aware of that. You got a perspective on it. Now, that perspective puts you in the space to realize the only way I can have a life worth celebrating or be invested in the things I want to be invested in is if I let go of this devil. I gain that awareness. I'm, I'm aware of that perspective now. You might not have, it's like you were, you. it was something you loved, so it kind of put you in your head a little bit, because you you became aware of, wow, I shouldn't have fallen in love with this, and you may have been chained to and or connected or attached to something for a while, so you may be in your head in regardings to what you had to let go, but you still, know you realize you had to let something go, you feel me? It's like you may not have been ready to let something go, almost. Yeah, because something wasn't right for you internally. Something was, something was it, whether it, something had you receiving or just perceiving things negatively. When you participated in this energy, it was like a negative filter. So everything that came to you that was positive immediately got turned negative just because your atmosphere was a certain type of way. You feel me? What song is this? Space Cadet is the song that's playing for you. You feel me? So just because your atmosphere, just because you participated in this mentality, you thought like this, or you hung with these people, or you kick shit, or you feel me? Just because you internalized a certain way. Everything that came to you positive would turn negative and you realize, okay, I have the root of this issue is me internalizing wrong or me just participating in mentalities or with people that aren't good for me. Shit, if this is you versus someone outside of you, then it's like you let someone outside of you go because you realize that they're the devil, right? 
and now they it's like the person you let go also realize that they're toxic. It's like, and because what you expressed to them or what you said to them or how things happened or occurred, it's like they're in their head because they, they see that they're the devil now. They see that they're toxic almost. And you can see through the emotions and the bullshit. Uh, everything was built on lies. Or you just not internalizing right. Look, uh, King of Corn, King King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. You see the shit, right? Because you weren't internalizing right, you weren't expressing right. What were you internalizing? Well, once upon a time, you were internalizing something that was not good for you. Something kept you trapped in your head. You may see what isn't good for you now. And because that, in order for you to celebrate or just be passionate the way you want to be passionate and or express yourself the way you want to be ex express yourself, you realize, you realize, I got to let go of the devil. Because this toxic person mentality and or habit has me express internalizing wrong. And because I'm internalizing wrong, I'm expressing myself wrong. You feel me? You don't have to let me know what you got going on, though. Shit, it almost seems like the 401 should have came out in reverse, but it, but I picked it up upright. So you, you can still, you can still change and or alter your energetic space is what I'm telling you, because this is the first card. This is the one. This is I. This is you, Cancer. You can celebrate after the two, you separate. You're gonna have to let me know though. I'm gonna fuck with you. <laughs>